Holmes presents... Ooh, he a big man. Oh, is he a cutie pie? The son of football follies. Rogers, the referee, and on the field, I give the signals, which mean things like, uh, uh, let's go, or let's get rolling. Start the little hand, or start the big hand, or... Hi, uh, Mom and Dad. Most referee signals are so easy, a monkey could do it. But some really use signals are rougher. Sometimes a rascally rabbit or furry squirrel visits the field, and then this is the signal. As an authority figure, we referees are respected and revered wherever we go. Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? The ball never touched the ground. That's not fair, Mr. Referee. You refs are terrible. I'll see you after the game. Sometimes those rascally wolves of the gridiron go out of their way to make us look silly. Beep, beep. Well, they may have their fun, but we whiffs have our own ways of rising to the occasion. Beep, beep. Sometimes trouble brews, and it's our job to keep order. Now watch me very closely as I coolly take charge and keep a potential riotous situation under perfect control. Now, now, here, here fellows, cut, cut that out. Cut, cut that out now. Oh, oh, oh gracious, this is a, a little frightening. Stop, stop it. Oh, 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 oh help. help. Let me out of here. Let me out of here. Oh, you, you, you rotten rascals. Like me, every ref has his own crafty tricks for stopping fights. As you can see, it's easy to take charge of most situations if you use your head. Game time in the NFL means feelings run high, adrenaline flows, and a man's heart beats wildly with excitement. Yep, it's a game of emotion. What's up, dog? Everyone knows that one of the most awesome weapons in pro football is the wide retriever. Excuse me, sir, but I believe you mean wide receiver, not wide retriever. Yeah, thanks, Doc. We wide receivers are feared for our ability to throw a devastating block. Our sticky mitts serve us well on the end around. <laughs> We wide receivers earn our lettuce by doing one thing, and that's catching passes. What you have to do is keep your eyeball on the ball, uh, your eye on the ball. Uh, oh well. That's more like it, Doc, but um, we shouldn't let a little success go to our heads. 
because if aroused, the defenders may plant us like a carrot. <laughs> ah! Ooh, ow, ow. Ah! I give up. Ouch! Man, all of this proves what I've always said, Doc. It is more blessed to give than to receive. <laughs> Great horny toadies. Those football players are as tall as a redwood and wide as the Pecos. And no wonder they can't stay in bounds on that tiny little green acre. Always running into things. Sometimes running into things ain't all that bad. Pleased to make your acquaintance, ma'am. <laughs> hey, you've got to stop meeting like this. <laughs> and of course, when them big galoots get plum tuckered out of pushing and stampeding around, they can just find a nice place to sit and watch the hooting and the hollering. Yeah. Reminiscent of the Amelia Earhart and Judge Crater cases, the National Football League has been hit recently by a wave of mysterious disappearances. At a news conference today, a somber Commissioner Pete Rozelle called in special NFL enforcers. We take you to the scene now. Break one nine, break one nine. How about that old hound dog? Are you in there? You got that one old hound dog? You smokies have an answer on this one? Oh, that's a big 10-4. We're going to get a 20 on them. They're hard hats that win 10-7. I'm going to back on out of here right now. This is that old white nine. Round it down to westbound. In the Lord said, "Let there be precipitate, a precipitate, a precipitate, a precipitate, a let there be rain." And the lo and behold, rain came pouring down, turning all into a quagmire, a quagmire, into a quagmire, and making a real mess of things. And the player said, "Lord, we're melon, 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 we're pretty darn sad." And the Lord said. Get thee some artifice, get thee some artifice, get thee, get thee, get thee, get thee a rug. And the players did, but when they, they saw what they had they wrought, they said, Lord, we're melon, 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 they're still pretty darn sad. So uh, finally the Lord said, get thee under the, the, the domes, costing him millions of dollars. And the, the, the taxpayers said, Lord, we sure are melon, melon, Lord, uh, we've sure been given a, a big enough place to take a bath. The man behind the man is the coach. Historically, the coach has been known for his easy smile, bubbling laughter, and a chronic case of <laughs> sour stomach. Some people say coaches don't know which end is up. During the week, the coach works closely with his men so that on Sunday, he may carefully choose the correct starting lineup. <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, moo, out goes Y-O-U. Eeny, meeny, miny, moo, out goes Y-O-U. Eeny, meeny, miny, moo, out goes Y-O-U. Ah, the beauty of these brave knights racing out to display their finely honed <laughs> skills. Hey, fellas, why don't you just pick it up? I, I th hey, gang, just grasp the little devil in your hands. P pick it up, fella, please. Just pick it up. Oh, come on, pick it up. Pick it up, you dummies. <laughs> oh, well, forget it, then. 
coaching wizards communicate from the sidelines through a variety of intricate hand signals. But serious and secretive situations call for sideline talk. So the chair's broken and the porridge is gone. Now wait till you hear this part. One thing every coach loves is a practical joke. Just watch this. Hey, coach! Duck! <laughs> coach George Allen today announced the signing of a multi-million dollar contract with Major Manders' finger-licking chicken. Said Coach Allen, I'm a finger-licking chicken man from way back. Been eating it on the sidelines during games for years. Might even install the wishbone offense one of these days. At any rate, good luck, coach. And how about some champagne to go with that chicken? Things are always new and different at halftime of an NFL football game. In Green Bay, they had the Markuku Siamese twin sisters as halftime performers. Not to be outdone, the Falcons hired the Dumbreezy Siamese sextuplets for their show. But no matter where you are, halftime is a circus. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Best of all are halftime shows that involve well-conceived specialty acts. <laughs> The backbone of a team is its spirit and unity. As one coach said, together we stand. Darn it. But what be more meaningful than two teammates on the field of strife dedicated to lending a helping hand to one another? Ah, the sheer beauty and synchronized symmetry of it all. The heartbeat of most teams is the running back whose legs are worth a fortune and must therefore be carefully stretched and loosened before each game. For when his hole opens up, the running back must be ready to dart through with the strength of a bull, the grace of a hummingbird. As frequent six-point scorers, running backs are the men who started the current craze in unusual end-zone behavior. And to think, it all began with a simple but effective rocket spike. Then, coming right behind that was the reverse rocket spike. Then a young lady of superlative talent came up with a new idea in scoring celebrations and suffering succotash if it didn't succeed. Of course, it takes a little practice to get good at it. taken this art form to its limit, but they're wrong. For every single Sunday, someone has a new way to say, yay, after a seven-point spree. The 
proud foot, I say the proud foot belongs to the kicker who's only concerned when kicking is that his mates know who to block. I got 50. I got I 76. Got no, Joe, I got you got him. 45. Who's got no, 30? I got 45. I got him. I got that guy. Okay, all set. Hey, who's got 45? I thought you had 45. I've got 76. I've got 57. Who's got 48? Who's I got, got 48. 48. Oh, I got 88. The... Time out. In kicking, the center, I say the center snap is crucial. Mm. And now, uh, pay attention. The ally of every kicker is his sure hand, I say his sure handed holder. If something goes wrong, I say goes wrong, the kicker has some options. Pay attention, boy. There's the double trick kick run and kick real quick stick, or there's the popular, I say popular strawberry short kick. When it, uh, pay attention, boy. When it comes to kicking, we punt, I say we punters display an affinity for ballet with our fluid movements that sing, I say sing of gracefulness. It's up to the punter to save, I say, to save his team from bad field position. Every team needs a good quarterback. The All-American boy next door a clean-shaven lad whose leadership qualities become most evident in the huddle. Maxie, you bring the chips and pretzels. Jiggy, you pick up the soda. And Bert, make sure you bring some good working girls this time. All right, my house a tree shop. At the snap of the ball, the field general takes complete command. When passing, the signal caller has a variety of smooth drop-back procedures. Once back, there is no more effective weapon in pro football than a rifle shot forward pass. And of course, there is that favorite ploy of all quarterbacks, the sneaky, tricky quarterback draw. It is the huge, well-schooled blockers who paralyze the pass rush and keep the quarterback safe in the pocket. Quarterback on his own on the run is a quarterback on his own on his bum. Defenders are truly mean and like to make people with the ball feel badly. That's why the quarterback should give the defense a big cake-eating grin and a friendly little wave. Who knows, he may make a good pal for life. But generally, defenders are lions on leashes, terribly anxious to wreak their havoc. Why, if it weren't for the rules, who knows what they would do? This, then, is pro football America. A game for men of substance and profound athletic talent. 
Working with these dedicated men are the wise coaches preaching organization, teamwork, and togetherness. These players are the gods of autumn, the best the nation has to offer, the titans of our time, men who play hard and clean and who overcome all obstacles that are placed before them. These stalwarts hold their emotions in check and accept victory with stoic dignity. These men believe football is bigger than life, so while joyful in triumph, it is in defeat that they convey the true meaning of the words honor and sportsmanship. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what to say. I, I'd like to thank everyone who made this moment possible, especially the people behind the scenes who get so little credit and certainly deserve it. Uh, I'd like to thank all of those people near and dear to me, like John Hentz. Thanks to my producer, Steve Sable. And above all, I, I like to thank my executive producer. Hey, hey, boss, how'd you like the show? Yeah, that's all, folks.